As doctors, we have to be available 24 seven. Well, actually just as surgeons. On call surgeons. Oh, I'm such a drooler. Eric always used to complain about it. Well. If there's some kind of freak accident in the middle of the night somewhere in Seattle, it's our job to wake up, get their ASAP, and save as many lives as possible. Oh, no, 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 This fame better make this degree worth it. No Broadway call time at three in the morning. Some may call it noble, and some may call it inconvenient. But when duty calls, it doesn't matter what you call it. it. No time for my hobby. Because its true name is just that. Duty. Over a hundred brothers in that house. We're gonna be... swamped like Shrek in a hurricane season! And sometimes, you sacrifice sleep to get your Take duty done. Come on, mom's gotta get to work. <sighs> okay, I know it's been a sec. But, you ready? Does it make us regret our choice to be in such a high energy, time heavy field? <clears throat> Does it make us think about our part-time doctor friends so who probably do less work than us or maybe less stressed? I'm angry. Does it also seem I'm to create a weird and, and constant attraction to our coworkers? Yeah. Gonna do it, it doesn't matter. Gonna cause issues. What matters? Doing the duty. All right, listen up. I don't know how we got here. I don't know why we got here. Well, that's a bold-faced lie. Of course I do. Uh, what's, um... We got over 100 frat boys, all of them at least half-shwasted, and I mean shwaist when I say that. Anyway, they're all kind of blasted to the moon one way or another. Uh, did something happen with what they were drinking or smoking or some kind of poisoning deal or maybe not at all so what we're going to do uh is... dr haley just um just so you know uh <laughs> brave i will write you up for interrupting me when i'm trying to give it's a beautiful day to save frat guy. <laughs> guys i'm like live uh, kind of I mean, nothing surprises me that much anymore, but damn, she wrote this like this? You go, queen. Grave. Yep. Don't do it! No, but you said we were swamped, so it's probably against protocol or doctor legal stuff or whatever, but... Grave, are you kidding me? We don't have protocol for this. You went against the protocol of nature, Grave. Nature. Never has a doctor at Seattle failed. Oh, really? Well, I had a whole speech prepared. And uh, you know what? <laughs> Eric Hart, welcome back. We're gonna need you anyway. Grave? You're lucky we're understaffed and that your mother was basically the best doctor slash witch doctor at this hospital. That's it? Really? Like, 
I don't need a lawyer or... Given the boatload of frat boys that are sitting in the ER right now awaiting our action, yes, the musical theater students at Washington U and the students in Alpha Omega segment were having a, uh, a scuffle and apparently the performing arts tour bus, which is, I mean, a regular school bus. <laughs> More creative. Right, uh, that bus went through the frat house. Oh, Alpha Omega Sigma, dude! <laughs> Jesus, Karev, put your sleeve down. Sorry. Ugh. Of course, Karev was an Aspa Amigo Shitma. <laughs> Shitma. <laughs> Us MTs thought it was funny. Oh, of course, saying was an MT. Of course. Oh no. Uh, of course, you were in Aspa Omega Shitma. There was a chapter at Stanford. They were always out for us. <laughs> oh, come on. You dramatic little crybabies always made me have a room or say while you were in some kind of stage. It was irritating. Oh, real mature. Real mature to leave. Hey, hey. Real oh, and a new at screen. Least you don't run away, run around, and do crazy shit in the place, and then, and then, like, uh, get drunk and everything. Say, correct, if you two are caught up in your personal feelings about this case, then stay out of the way. Oh, what? That's, that's totally not fair. I, I didn't go to 10 years of med school. Rest up all this debt just to be treated like this. I should have done this on Broadway. Hmm? I got my BSA. Ha! Huh? Wow. <sighs> Why are you even a doctor? I'm genuinely curious. Well, you must uh, die hard. I had a dream to be the very best musical theater performer. Dancing, the singing, the spectacle of... That's why we dance when we're upset. Crushing the competition, intimidating people, sleeping your way into the cast list. Then did what? But alas, it's just... <laughs> oh, it did work that way. I was just cursed with a talent for being a doctor. So I dropped it and got on track for med school. You mm -hmm. still finished early at the top of your class? When you're not singing and dancing your heart out, there's... There's lots of free time. I yeah. don't care, Sang. I literally do not care. We need to get back out there to help those frat boys, all right? I don't care whether you like them or not. Grave, I am gonna need you to resurrect a few more of your dead friends or relatives. What? Why? Aren't I everything you need? <laughs> no! No, 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 you're not! Die hard? Not when literally all the staff in this hospital have STDs. I bet, I bet my left pinky toe that none of you, none of you at all, all have a sexy doctor or nurse or intern body count less than what's on your first hand, huh? Well, to be fair, there was a whole period of time I was getting a divorce from the lady doctor who chased me across the country because- Don't remind me. Hey, come on, Cher. We've all happened to be in the on-call room where another super sexy doctor also happens to be. And because our lives are literally devoid of anything else, because all of us are workaholics with no other personality, Dr. Bailey excluded. <laughs> you damn right, bitch. Yeah, I know, but I didn't bring you back to life to talk about your ex-wife, mister. Ah, yes. 
You're right. You're right. <laughs> Quit your ghost and kissing escapades, you two. We need an army of ghost doctors and we need them now. Haley, you do realize that I'm not as strong a witch doctor as my mother yet, right? I mean, this is, this is kind of the best of my abilities. She can, however, do card tricks. Don't you mean card tricks? Uh, no. Uh, like, I've seen her pick up a car before. There was a baby trapped inside. I like babies, but um, I consider myself to be deeply genetically flawed because of my parents' mistakes. Addiction, abuse, Alzheimer's, even though that's not a mistake. But anyway, um, since I'm deeply flawed, I'm unworthy of love and only want things that are bad for me. Cher, you need help. Therapy. <laughs> Even though I'm a doctor who most definitely can afford it, I'll refuse until I'm literally forced into it because being a surgeon is everything to me. <sighs> also, uh, me trying to resurrect more than one person at a time is a uh, Kind of impossible. Why? Well, I can do one at a time, but that's a pretty difficult spell to cast, so... So then more dead people would be too much to ask. I mean, look, it's a little self-destructive. I am sometimes, so I'll try anything, but... No, 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 you got, you got kids now. I mean, yeah, but... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not ready to take care of your kids right now. Yeah, me neither. So. Come on, guys. It won't be that hard. You know, everybody is having sex here. Everybody is parenting or co-parenting or godparenting. And I'm just... Why? I mean, between you and me, it sort of streamlines everything. <laughs> I am the only person here who's divorced a non-doctor. We're turning her. Stop that. Ew. <laughs> uh, we'll get her. Also, it's been like uh, 10 minutes that we've been here. Uh, are the fat guys okay? What do you care? I wouldn't, but I took a oath. Stop being a douche. I just want my paycheck and my fame. Um, we can't waste any more time, people. Get out there. Your surgeries will be an assigned as we go. Just head to the pit. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. <clears throat> hey, are you? Mm -hmm. Give me like 30 seconds of private time, please. <clears throat> okay. Zen definition. Stop! Stop, Haley! Are you drinking again, really? After all of the turmoil that it caused your family and the hospital? And the Babe! Wrong chief! Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> I got my phone. Oh. Yep. There it is. <laughs> Oh, uh, wait, is this uh, some kind of issue that could possibly progress the plot or like maybe show that doctors are fallible and not always 100% doing the, the best thing for themselves? Or, I mean, is that like a, a lot of energy you just drank or? I just want my caffeine fix. Oh, okay. Just checking. Um, by the way. Back uh, to work. Right. Grave? Just so you know, if you wanted to judge me, you've done enough illegal stuff for me to fire you four times over. No judgment.
right, so I'm looking at the situation here and this is worse than I thought. The alcohol from this keg is clearly sticking to his skin. So, which I didn't know beer would be this sticky, but- Probably you know. not beer. Oh? So, so what is it then, do you think? Um, Karev, we're running out of time. I mean, to be honest, we, we, we were into mixing things and- Max, just spit it I out. I just, uh, when I was there, we usually just dumped a bunch of Cosmos or Sangrias or Sex on the Beaches. What? You think you're better than me and the bros just because we enjoy our drinks? <laughs> Listen, anyway. That's why you wince whenever you drink rum at the bar after work. No, I don't! <laughs> Please don't make fun of me, but it's probably some kind of sugary, fruity mess like that. <laughs> well... The place apparently was partially caught on fire, so the heat must have made it stick to him. We may have a hard time getting it off without hurting his skin. I'm going to try something. What? Well, here in my handy nitty spell book for witch doctors, there's an enchantment I can do that will make objects that are bound together separate. My mom used it once on conjoined twins. Jesus, that's gnarly. Well, so was my mother and pretty much everything she said and did. Sheridan, you're aging? I didn't expect that. Your skin has great elasticity. You got that from me. Sex to get older though. I'll tell you what, life is a carousel and I have extreme motion sickness. Yeah, I think it could work. Yeah. So like all we have to do is just cut through the keg so that there's easy access. What? To, you know. whoa, 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 you can't do that. Why? Because this keg is the keg of AOS. We can't just like cut through it or, or I can't anyway. That would be a desecration. Max, of we literally have to get this kid out of this keg or he might I don't really know, but I'd assume that there are going to be really bad long-term effects on this whole situation. Okay, well, can we at least try and figure something out, please? No, that's so dumb that you think a keg is literally this important. Dumb? <laughs> Excuse me, said the girl who Ouija boarded her way through med school. I don't even need a Ouija board to conjure your worst nightmare, you fool. Okay, 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 okay! okay. Oh, Karev, he's rolling. Get him, get him, get him! <laughs> well, I might be the dumb one, but you just did that, so. You have 10 minutes to think of something else. Unless, did he just come unstuck or? Huh, <laughs> unstuck. It reminds me of that one time at the park. No, 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 Dick, come back, please, I need you, Dick, give me your devotion, I gave you mine, Dick! Mom, why are you screaming? Everyone's scaring. Shut up! Everything's gonna be chill, all right? Everything's gonna be fucking chill, all right? And I'm not going to work tomorrow. Okay. Let's go see Massachusetts, kid. Come on. It's weird because, you know, the chief chief is named Dick and really seems to look out for me for some reason. I guess they were friends or something. I don't know. Section. Great. Scalpel. Thank you. Whew. Is it cold in here or is it just me? Oh, yeah. Probably because there's a ghost in the room. Right. Um, can we get the heat up a few? Yeah, thanks. So, dreamboat. 
What's it like being back? Well, it's not exactly how I thought I'd reunite with my wife or loved ones, but that's okay. Uh, suction? Speaking of which, has she, like, moved on, or... You know she hasn't, Die Hard. Come on! No, no, I know. I was just trying ya. <laughs> mm. Suction? <laughs> uh, speaking of which... <laughs> I mean, I know she hasn't moved on, but is there any... Uh, I mean, I know everyone in this hospital tends to like- I'm her person, okay? It is my duty to raise her up like in kinky boots. Oh God. <laughs> because she is a Reno to my moon face. And you know what? Maybe you should ask her yourself. I do have some tea about my love life, though, if you want to hear it. No, no, that's okay. I was just curious about it. this new mysterious attending dude, and he's, like, kind of like my teacher, and, but, you know, not really, which makes it scandalous and kind of similar to you. And... You mean Sheridan, yes, of course. Yeah, exactly. So when she argues that I shouldn't do it, I'm still going to do it because I had to throw it in her face. It's a pretty sweet spot, to be real. <laughs> Suction. Oh. Right. <laughs> what the fuck, Max? Oh, I'm sorry, Haley. I'm just no for real. I'm going to send you to the. I'm just frustrated. Since there are never any consequences for anyone here ever. What's wrong, Karev? Sheridan said we have to cut off the keg so we can save that kid's life, but what she doesn't understand is that keg is sacred to everyone at Alpha Omega Sigma. She, that kid would want us to cut him out. Are you... Are you positive that he would want that? As sure as my family life was poor. Karev. I thought this kid had a potential bright future. His mother said that he was- She would know that, Haley! She doesn't know him like I do. We're indirect frat brothers. How do I even? Karev, I just, there's apparently no way around this. So this, so let's think this out together. Use your brain, Maxwell. Your resources. Haley, she gave me like 10 minutes and it's been like 12, but nothing ever moves fast. So anyway, I should figure it out soon though. And I literally have nothing I could possibly- Didn't you just brag to me this morning about what's in the back of your car right now? That's it. That's perfect. Now go, Karev, please. I better or there won't be a keg to save. <sighs> well. Chucks are red today, so this sort of purplish pink combo is going well. And uh, could go with the black, but uh, it's really, really bland, so it's probably also a no. I could go with the green though, but the scrubs are already green, so if you add in the green mask, it'll just make the shoes look like an outlier. And no. Anyway, that's how my action ruined that part of my life, and I, he lives in Germany now. Hey, I'm about to head into surgery with one of the frat brats. It's, can you just- uh, Wait, 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 wait. There's a sorority here? No, what? Uh oh <laughs> That's what we used to call sorority people. You were really bitter, weren't you? Uh, you were pretty bitter at my ex-wife, who everyone forgot about. She got a spin-off series, okay? Chill. Well, maybe if they hadn't spent all that time. Never, can you just help me pick out my damn mask so I can cut the keg out of this douche bag and try to save his skin? Hey, come on. He's wearing a shirt. It's a clickbait. Ah. Uh. 
Well, <laughs> sometimes we have to take na- natural selection into account. Wait, Sheridan! Car rev. Well, why is he so obsessed with fast cars if he can just do that? Max, get ready to scrub in. We've got to take your precious keg. Whoa, 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 wait. We got to wait. Max. You don't understand. I can save the keg, Cher. I can do it, please. You really genuinely care that much. Yes, and I know he would too. He being the patient. Yes, Cher. The keg is more than just a keg. I don't understand how it could be, but okay. If you Shut say up, so. Sang. Hey. Uh. Is anybody not gonna say anything? Let him speak. Chair, the, the keg is, is a brotherhood. It's memories. It's everything it means to be a part of Alpha Omega Sigma. Do you know how many gatherings that keg has witnessed over the years? I don't really know offhand, but it's a whole freaking lot. It's like ancient. And at every one of those gatherings, there was laughter. There were drinks had, fun drinks, might I add. This thing has seen karaoke parties and every trashy Halloween costume known to man and quite a few hazing lawsuits too. But it's a part of our history my history, and I can't just let you rip it apart from this kid's skin. Not on my watch. Uh, all right, so uh, here's the plan. Cher, once you get your separation thingy I'm gonna pass, you're gonna pass the keg to me. I'll pause during the surgery so I can do keg surgery and weld it back together. Where? Where did I get these? <laughs> I bought them last night because I needed them for a project car, fell asleep in the garage, and never took them out of my trunk. I just have one extra person to just... Oh, 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 oh. I'll go, I'll go. <laughs> Be there. Uh, what? She has to come too? Do the whole thing? I bring all these tools here for... Be grateful, Karev. You're getting to do auto body... Keg, body, work in a hospital. Who cares if little Miss Sang a lot is there? Yeah. You are an amazing, well, you're a pretty all right surgeon, but you're an even better mechanical dude. Haley. Karev, I wouldn't say that if I didn't mean it. Now please, get to the OR, wash your hands for a good solid three minutes, get each side under your nails and your wrist too, and then put on your mask and grab your welding tools and get the hell in there. Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll be watching from the observation room. Haley? Yes? You're not so horrible and inhumane as I thought you were. Go get him, tiger. Room, room, and all that. Wow. You really know how to push them in the right direction, Haley. I'm just trying to save as many Vineyard Vines advertisements as I can. Gotta keep the RR running, no matter what it takes. Also, Grave, wear the one with the um, sunflower prints on, on it. It goes with the shoes and scrubs, plus it makes you look quirky and approachable. <laughs> well... <laughs> We all know who's the most approachable here, though, right? You're dead, Eric. People are scared of ghosts. Even handsome ghosts? I'm just attracted to them. Oh. <laughs> Grave to the OR. Now. Yes, ma'am. Haley, can we sit together in the observation deck? Well, obviously, who else am I going to talk shit with? The nurses? <laughs> <laughs> we forgot about them after mass Max slept with one. Great, great, great. Oh no, no, no.
Walking. Grave? Were those sterilized? Uh, yeah. You better not be lying to me. Is that Candy Crush? I checking in on Grave's antics. I encourage Car Rev and I. Well, I still don't care about Sen because she, she's fine. But I deserve this. That's so valid. There was this moment where I was sitting with my mother when she was getting treatment and I'll never forget. She said, You listen here and you listen good, you subpar buffoon. The whole reason I let you suck off my nutrients for nine whole months, which I never got a thank you for, by the way, was so that someone would make, would always feel the unrelenting weight to be just as good as me at witchy shit slash Dr. Tings. I think that way, when my age started to take its toll, I'd have a backup plan and a surefire way to lock down the cure for literal Alzheimer's disease if I couldn't get there myself. That way, I could live forever and my brain would keep coming up with new and innovative and brilliant medical techniques. And we could totally have the cute mother-daughter moment where you were like second best and mommy's little helper, but I was always superior, kind of like God. I was supposed to be God in the end. Anyway, what have you done? Hmm? Not even picked up a magical surgical specialty yet? What the fuck, Cher? How am I supposed to save my brain? Just like old times. Uh, everything okay in here, Grave? I heard yelling. You need to yell at her more. No, she's just, uh, lucid. Beautiful day to sit back, guys. Uh, shut up. All right. Everyone ready? Ready. Ready. Jesus Christ, are they going to do it or not? Sticked and stuck is all he is. Oh, okay, neat. Sticked and stuck is this stupid kid. He was drinking when a bus crashed in and made him one-eighth keg. Unseal this frat guy, forgive his sin, and lick the sugar from his skin, so he may thrive, keg free, and live with all his arms and legs. Suction, scapel. Ah, uh, Dr. Grace, he's bleeding quite a bit. That come on, come on. Oh, day back to surgery again? George is lit, I can't lose him, I won't do it saying, I need you to push 50 milligrams stat. Pushing. Stop that. You're so irritating. It happens when I'm stressed and help me be the best. Push another 60. Pushing. You're dangerous, but you're gonna be fine, buddy. I promise, I swear on my brotherhood. Oh, people in frats are truly extra. It's hard to upset. I know, just give me a second, okay? What? Trust me. <clears throat> what? Nice! They did their jobs! Great! <sighs> cool. Oh! I I'm not singing anymore! That's also <laughs> cool. I'm almost done here with our old friend. Just gotta fix the last few things here. Now that that's over, can we get some music? I, I just didn't want it to fuck with my ritual. Oh my god, yes! Can we play Illegally Brunette? I feel like it's fitting right now, I don't know. 
it's gonna start a fight. Uh, no. Can someone find my phone and play my Garage Jams playlist? It's what I listen to when I'm cutting into the dusty old anti anti environmental rust buckets. Yeah, I don't think so. I'm not gonna listen to na na na. I'm an upset brunette girl. Na na na, running through the forest together. Into the forest is legendary. Don't you dare. Huh. Songheim is a hit or miss. <laughs> I'm not going to listen to your stupid oily boiled tunes while I operate on the younger version of you, okay? I would have never gotten myself stuck into a sacred keg. All right. Uh, hey, I I have a compromise. Stay out of Stay this. Out of Ugh. How about this? Every car guy likes oil thunder, right? Well, uh, maybe. Uh, yeah. I hate oil, but like, I love oil. <laughs> Doesn't everyone? <laughs> why? Die Hard, why? Why you gotta do stuff like that? Is that. Is that oil in here? <laughs> I make quite a bit of money, but not enough for this shit. Oil Hi, you must be the parents. Your son is resting. He'll have quite a bit of scarring, but all things considered, he'll be fine. Magic. <laughs> Well, just a little. <laughs> when you choose to be a surgeon, or witch doctor, I guess, there's plenty of times you'll find yourself jealous of your not-so-exciting doctor friends who work with us at normal hours of the day. Ugh. I'm exhausted. I don't ever get exhausted anymore. But I almost am. <laughs> Right. Well, I'm going to take a few Benadryl and pass out as long as humanly possible when I get home. Oh, lucky. I can't. Auditions in a few hours. Of course. Please don't leave us when you get famous. Oh, everyone but you. Well, I just told the president of Frat what happened and that the keg's gonna be okay, so, uh, job well done, everybody. <laughs> you know, we're like a fun hospital. <laughs> that wasn't fun, you psycho. I'm fucking exhausted. I'm going home, drinking, and then... Brother! Hey, asshole, how's it hanging? <laughs> what? Did you say wagon? From 62, that's like impossible! What? Yeah, I'm on my way to snatch it up. Uh, keep the guy entertained. I just found my new project car, bitches! See you on the flip side! I mean, love you guys! Bye! It's 7 in the morning and he says he's going to drink. You did great! Car rev and send! Good! He knows! Good job, everyone else, too. Can't wait for y'all to stress me out again later. Peace. But one, having the label of surgeon is pretty cool. Especially when there's other spicy looking surgeons at your place of work. I'll miss you. Hey, it's okay. Just summon me again whenever you need me. <laughs> I will. Like when the kids are freaking out or something. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Love you. Love you too. Uh, and Cher, your mom would be proud. Think. Sheridan, just so you know, I've already been proud of you once. That was enough for me. Don't be a greedy bitch. Two, helping people is also cool, even if you lose a little bit of sleep to do it.
lot of sleep. 